Composed of the famously known North Island and South Island, New Zealand is an incredible destination to discover. Packed with unforgettable landscape, breathtaking scenery, and an unparalleled combination of lakes, mountains, and lush greenery, the island nation has to be visited to be truly understood. New Zealand pretty much needs to be on your list if you're at all an adventure sports enthusiast, or even if you're just interested in trying them out. Our list can be endless when it comes to eye-catching sceneries and outdoor activities you can get up to in this far-flung destination. However, let's narrow it down to the best 10. And number 10, Nelson. At the top of the South Island is Nelson, a spot known for having the highest number of sunshine hours per year in all of New Zealand. This great climate and the fact that the city is surrounded by three national parks makes Nelson a fantastic spot for outdoor recreation. There's also an emphasis on local agriculture and the area's wineries. Founders Park is an amazing spot in the city where you can dine on local farm-to-table cuisine and soak up the sunshine right in the heart of an urban area. You can even do a day trip to Abel Tasman National Park from Nelson using an early bus, which gives you just enough time to enjoy the park. Number 9. Coromandel Peninsula just across the Hauraki Gulf from Auckland, the rugged Coromandel Peninsula seems a world away from the city's hustle and bustle. Craggy mountains cloaked in the native forest from a spine along the peninsula, offering excellent opportunities for hiking and birding. Other fun things to do for tourists include relaxing on the golden beaches, sea kayaking around the offshore islands, skydiving, and visiting the many galleries and art studios. At Hot Water Beach, a dip in the bubbling hot pools is a great way to end a busy day of sightseeing. Number 8. Fjordland National Park A world heritage site, Fjordland National Park protects some of the most spectacular scenery in the country. Glaciers sculpted this dramatic landscape, carving the famous fjords of Milford, dusky and doubtful sounds. Milford Sound is the biggest attraction in Fjordland, and it's a true fjord created by a glacier. Visitors can explore gushing cascades, offshore islands, virgin rainforests, vast lakes, and craggy mountain peaks. Not surprisingly, the park is a haven for hikers and some of the country's best hiking, including the famous Milford Track. Sea kayaking is a popular way to explore the fjords, and visitors can also enjoy a scenic flight over the park for a bird's eye view of its staggering beauty. On a cruise through Milford Sound, you can spot waterfalls, admire the sheer rock faces towering over the water, and even see wildlife like dolphins and penguins. Number 7. Paihia If you're interested in exploring the Bay of Islands, then Paihia is a great place to visit in New Zealand. Paihia is all about the small town feel, but it boasts an array of great hotels and recreational opportunities to appeal to travelers. Top local adventures include cruising to the Hole in the Rock at the tip of Cape Brett and sea kayak tours. Bahia is also just down the road from the historic Waitangi Treating Grounds, which marks the beginning of New Zealand as a nation. And just west of Bahia is Haruru, where you'll find an impressive waterfall and a boardwalk. And if you're feeling adventurous and active, you can swim with dolphins or even go scuba diving to see the underwater shipwreck called the Rainbow Warrior. Back on dry land, make your way to Mardson Road to exceptional restaurants serving up an array of freshly caught seafood. At number 6, Auckland. As both the largest city in New Zealand and its international air travel hub, Auckland is one of the best places to go in New Zealand. Many international flights arrive in New Zealand through Auckland Airport, which makes it an ideal city for which to start your exploration of New Zealand. It's located on the North Island, and it's known for its vibrant culture and foodie landscape. For amazing views of this beautiful metropolis, climb the Auckland Harbour Bridge. If you're interested in learning more about the history and heritage of New Zealand, then be sure to check out the Auckland Domain, which is the city's oldest part. In the Auckland Domain, you'll find great exhibits of Maori and the Pacific Island artifacts at the iconic Auckland Museum. At number 5, Waiheke Island, New Zealand. Just a little more than 30 minutes by boat from downtown Auckland is Waiheke Island, the best place to be for wine lovers. For a small island in the middle of Haraki Gulf, Waiheke Island sure is home to a lot of vineyards, and all that wine from the vineyards of Waiheke Island will make you hungry, so don't forget to book your lunch or dinner at any of the restaurants within. Of course, there's more to do on Waiheke Island than just drink wine. Waiheke Island is also famous for its vibrant art community, beaches, forests, and olive groves. Book a culture tour, scenic flight, or hiking trip while you're there to really see why Waiheke Island is on the list of the best places to go in New Zealand. 
Number 4. Queenstown Snuggled between the shores of shimmering Lake Wakatipu and the snowy peaks of the Remarkables, Queenstown is New Zealand's adventure capital and one of the country's top destinations for international visitors. Bungee jumping, jet boating, whitewater rafting, paragliding, rock climbing, mountain biking, and downhill skiing are just some of the adrenaline-fueled things to do here, and visitors can explore the stunning alpine scenery on the excellent network of hiking trails. In addition to the adventurous sports, Queenstown offers all the creature comforts with first-class hotels, spas, restaurants, and galleries and shops. It's also a great base for sightseeing trips to the central Otago region where visitors can explore gold mining towns and the Middle Earth scenery from the popular Lord of the Rings movies. Number 3. Bay of Islands The Bay of Islands is one of the best places to go in New Zealand for fishing, sailing, and other water sports. About three hours by car from Auckland, this gorgeous region is made up of 144 islands between Cape Brett and the Pirua Peninsula. And what's there to do in the Bay of Islands? Get on or in the water. Try scuba diving with Pahia Dive's Intro to Diving course. You'll be ferried far out into the bay to explore a whole new underwater world. Or get up close and personal with the marine life in the Bay of Islands on Fuller's Great Sights Hole in the Rock Dolphin Cruise. On a good day, you'll see both whales and dolphins on this cruise. The cruise will take you to one of the Bay of Islands' most famous sites, the Hole in the Rock. And you can sail through this unique opening in a rock formation when the tide is just right. And number two, Te Wakare Waweta Geothermal Valley. No list of the best places to go in New Zealand would be complete without mentioning Te Puya, the New Zealand Maori Arts and Crafts Institute, located in Rotorua's Te Wakare Waweta Geothermal Valley. At this Maori Heritage Center, you can get an authentic steam box meal prepared using ancient geothermal cooking techniques. You can also experience a Maori welcome ceremony and traditional song and dance performance. Honestly, who can resist that? The Te Wakare Waweta Geothermal Valley is also home to a number of active geysers, including Pohutu, the largest active geyser in the Southern Hemisphere. Mud pools are another natural attraction in this geothermal valley. These boiling pools reach temperatures of more than 200 degrees Fahrenheit. At number 1, Lake Taupo and Tongariro National Park, North Island. In the center of the North Island and just a few kilometers from glittering Lake Taupo, New Zealand's largest lake, lies Tongariro National Park, a dual world heritage site due to its spectacular volcanic features and its importance to the Maori culture and the volcanic peaks of Tangariro, Mount Girahoi, and part of Rapahu were in fact gifted by Maori chief Te Hu Hu Tokino IV in 1887 to the people of New Zealand in order to preserve this sacred land. One of the oldest national parks in the world, Tangariro, is a land of dramatic beauty, with towering volcanoes, turquoise lakes and plateaus, alpine meadows and hot springs. A highlight of the park is the Tongariro Alpine Crossing, one of the most popular day walks in the country. Fun things to do here include camping, enjoying the park's many walks and hiking trails, and spending time in its interesting visitor centers. Did you enjoy our video? Have you visited New Zealand? And which place would you like to visit if given a chance to select one from our list? Okay, just let us know through the comment section. And also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing content. And please, give us a like and share the video. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our new uploads. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching.